Okay guys, I have a 2010 Honda Civic, um, was involved in a car accident which caused a seatbelt to lock up. So I followed a video on YouTube where it shows you how to remove this cover and I suggest you follow that video first, uh, find it. Um, you remove all this, you unlock this whole mechanism and put this back together. Um, once you've done that and your seatbelt is still not retracting or functioning correctly, um, the issue is gonna be on the other side, uh, which is gonna be this side. So pretty much what you're gonna do is remove these three bolts, which is what I'm gonna do here next. Bolts, as you can see, the part is still on there. Um, so don't worry about it falling off. Um, the three bolts are gonna be those three right there um, that hold that little uh, piece in place. Um, and then what you want to do is take this cover off. Um, when you take it off, there's the uh, coil mechanism inside, um, that coiled wire. Um, I don't know exactly what it's called that's inside. But you're going to see it in here retract um, once you pull this cover off of it. Don't worry about it. Uh, there's a step at the end where I'm going to show you guys how to uh, reactivate that, that coil to where it has enough tension to be able to drive the belt back in place, retract it back in place um, after releasing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this part off and that way, that way you guys could see the what the insides are. You guys could see, uh, the it's pretty much a case, like a cassette. And uh, inside you have the wire that as you turn it, um, it adds tension to it and uh, it, it self retracts itself once you release it. So um, again, once you take it off, um, you're gonna hear this activate, um, but don't worry about it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to, uh, how to add tension back on this after putting it back together. So once you take the, this uh, cover off, uh, then what you're dealing with is this. Um, so this is the gear um, that pretty much turns with the seat belt um, as you go. I'll try to make it move, oh, I can't. All right, so the issue is there is some pins that are on the inside of this gear. Um, I have the ones to show that I took out, which is pretty much this piece right here, okay? You guys are gonna find these pins locked inside those little holes that you see in there. So what happens is when you're involved in the accident, the airbag system will activate this cylinder, uh, creating some sort of pressure or mechanical move internally that pushes these pins out and it makes it lock this gear. So even though you fix this side, um, this is still preventing the uh, seat belt from turning if you're able to remove all those pins from here, then just do that and do so, and then put the the uh, cassette back on there, the, the one I removed earlier. If for some reason some of them were, are stuck, <clears throat> um, as mine were, um, what you wanna do is remove, which would be, you can kinda see the bolts, running through it would only be that one uh, which just to point them out um, it would be this one here they do have a bigger head than most of the rest of them so it's going to be one um, two and three so there's three of them three large heads um, what you're going to do there is take those three off and once you take those three off, um, you're gonna be able to remove this housing away from this gear. I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. As you guys can see, I've loosened up the uh, three bolts. Again, it's gonna be the one that has the bigger head compared to the rest of them. It's only three of them. Um, hopefully you guys can figure out which one those are but they're also gonna be long. Again, you're able to see them on the back end, uh, at least here on the top, and I believe you can do so on the bottom one as well. 
as you guys can see, the, the, the piece itself is moving. Um, so I'm gonna take off the uh, three bolts that I talked about. Okay. And now you can uh, wiggle this part off. It might be tight the first time um, as it was for me. Um, so then you're able to wiggle this part off and there's the shaft. So once you take it off in here, you're gonna find those little pins. I'm gonna, I've, I've already taken mine off, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and dump one on there so you guys can kind of have an idea of what, what it's gonna look like. All right guys, so I went ahead and dumped the pin on there as promised. Um, you guys can see I'm actually moving it with the palm of my hand on the opposite side. Uh, so again, those pins are just gonna be sitting there um, and I'll go ahead and turn the other side so you guys can see it. And I'll just make it drop from there. So there it is. So you're pretty much just gonna remove all that and put the unit back together. Uh, that should help resolve your issue. Um, but there's still one more step. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble this. Uh, there's really not much to it. Just align everything back where the bolts are able to go through and lock into the uh, bracket. And then I'll come back and show you guys how to uh, set up the uh, cartridge um, and how to coil it to ensure that it... Just in case the, uh, the spring came off, you are actually able to take this cassette off, take apart, and uh, just ensure that the uh, spring is locked in to one of those grooves um, and then you can put it back together but in most cases it's together um, it's already in place and you're also able to verify that um, by looking at that uh, little hole there um, you'll be able to see the metal um, just in case back together now um, so then what you're gonna do now is grab the uh, the cassette um, and insert it on the shaft that's sticking out and once you insert it, um, you'll feel it kind of lock in. Now you don't want it to go all the way down because what you're, you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna wanna start turning this counterclockwise on the base. What you're doing there is you're activating the, uh, the coil inside uh, to add tension to it. And you're gonna wanna put as much tension as possible. So just keep turning it. Um, the cassette is kind of transparent um, you'll be able to kind of see as you're coiling it um, if you look closely don't overdo it if you do overdo it there's a possibility that you could break it um, so just start doing your turns and just get the feel for it um, you'll start to feel more tension as you're going once you feel you've, you've uh, put enough tension on it what you're gonna want to do is have it sit in its place press it down and go ahead and put the uh, bolt in there, um, align it, and test your uh, belt slack. If you notice that there's still slack on there, then just come back, um, pull it out, not all the way, just enough to where you have enough room to continue your progress on the coil. Um, once you have all that assembled, just tighten everything back together and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna finish this. Uh, once I put it back together, I'll show you guys that the seat belt now is, is working the way it should. In place, uh, after multiple adjustments, um, now the belt uh, is retracting itself. Uh, we'll release it, and there it goes. And also, the uh, quick lock still does work. So overall, uh, this has been a success. I hope this video helps you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, please add it on the comments. I'll try to reply as soon as possible and hopefully I can help you guys out further. Thank you guys for watching.